oat, soya, almond, coconut, cashew, pea, rice, and hazelnut. There are so many different plant milks available these days. It's no wonder many people are feeling overwhelmed by all the choices. Influencer campaigns promoting dairy, often funded by the dairy industry, are also on the rise. For example, remember that weird satirical advert from 2023 featuring actor Audrey Plaza? Yep, the one that humorously promotes wood milk as an eco-friendly product only to reveal that it doesn't actually exist and that only cow's milk is real milk? Funny thing is, this ad was sponsored by the Milk Processor Education Program, a group funded by the U.S. dairy industry. And it was accused by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine of violating U.S. federal law due to being false, misleading, and disparaging to a competing agricultural product. Honestly, big corporations will go to great lengths to keep the status quo alive. But the facts are clear. From an environmental and animal rights perspective, plant milks are overwhelmingly better than dairy milk. In this video, we'll examine the environmental impacts of dairy and different plant milks. We'll also look at some brands you might want to avoid and which ones you could support instead. All types of milk require water to produce, and some more than others. A whopping 371 liters of fresh water is needed to produce just one liter of almond milk. But producing a liter of dairy milk requires a staggering 628 liters of fresh water. That's almost 70% more than almond milk. Other plant milks require a lot less water than almond. Per liters produced, rice milk requires just under 270 liters. Oat requires just over 48 liters, and soya uses the lowest amount, at just 28 liters. That's around 4% of the water needed to produce cow's milk. Every meter of land used for cattle grazing or feed production prevents trees and natural ecosystems from growing, which are crucial for biodiversity and carbon capture in the fight against climate change. And just like water usage, the land used to produce one liter of dairy milk is eye-wateringly high compared to plant alternatives. Per liter of milk produced, dairy uses 8.95 meters squared of land, oat uses 0.76 meters squared, soya uses 0.66 meters squared, almond uses 0.5 meters squared, and rice uses just 0.34 meters squared. You've probably heard the argument that it's better to get dairy milk from your local farmer rather than importing ingredients from across the world, which would be a more compelling argument if dairy milk production didn't emit around three times as many greenhouse gases as plant milks. Why is dairy farming so carbon intensive? Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas and cows naturally release a lot of it when they digest grass. The dairy industry is desperately trying to cling on to the market, despite the environmental damages. So they've developed an additive to reduce methane production in cows. Some UK supermarkets have joined Arla, the sixth largest dairy company in the world, which also owns the plant milk brand Arla Yerd in testing an additive called Bovea. It's supposed to cut methane emissions in cows bred for their milk by 30%. But here's the thing. If it works, 30% isn't a huge reduction, especially when you compare it to plant-based alternatives, since, well, plants don't burp methane at all. Some plant milks do have higher air miles than others, though. For example, coconuts are often grown in India, Indonesia, and the Philippines, whereas oats are more likely to be grown closer to home, in Europe or even the UK. So it's pretty clear that any plant milk significantly outperforms dairy milk across a range of key environmental categories. And if you find yourself with a choice between different plant milks, we recommend choosing oat or soya as their impact is low in all areas. With the plant milk market booming and capitalism being capitalism, big companies are starting to scoop up large sections of that pie and buying up plant milk brands. While some may argue this is a good thing, we think it's better to buy plant-based products from companies that are entirely plant-based or vegan, rather than those that continue to produce animal-derived products. For example, you might want to avoid Alpro, as it's owned by Danone, the fourth largest dairy manufacturer in the world. We talk about them in this video. Then there's coffee shop favorite, Oatly. 
Its ownership is complex as it's part owned by several companies, one of which is ultimately owned by the Chinese state. Its corporate family tree contains lots of non-vegan brands, and in 2020, it received investment from private equity firm Blackstone, whose CEO donated to Trump's 2020 election campaign and backed him again in 2024. So, which brands should you support? Our best buyers include Rerooted, Plamil, and Overhead, plus some others which you can view on our website. But don't feel bad if you can't find the top ethical brands in your local shop. At the end of the day, any plant milk is better for the environment and animals than dairy milk. Thanks for watching. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Also, a huge thank you to everyone who has supported this channel with a super thanks. It means a lot to us as a small nonprofit working to challenge corporate power. If you're thinking of giving us a super thanks, please head to the Pay It Forward page of our website for donations instead. The money there goes towards our Pay It Forward scheme, and it means YouTube doesn't take a 30% cut. There's a link in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.